Hi, it's me, Chris. Welcome back to my shop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these simple clamp racks that allow you to maximize the amount of clamps you can store in a small space. And they also allow you to store different types of clamps on the same rack. Now, I'm providing a free template for this project on my website, so make sure you check out the link below. It uh, will be sized for 11 by 17 paper, so if you print 100% scale, either use 11 by 17 paper or print it out on two sheets of 8.5 by 11. Now, even a quick search on the internet will bring up thousands of different clamp rack designs. A lot of clamp racks have individual spots for clamps. That's great if you've got the space to do it because you can easily look across the, the shop at your clamp rack and see that... Uh, you have a clamp out somewhere that you need to put back. Uh, what I've tried to do here is maximize the amount of clamps that can be stored in the smallest possible space. So I store mine in a line out from the wall. This has a couple benefits to it. One, when you're using clamps, you rarely use just one. So I can come up here and grab a handful of clamps and take them over to the glue up. Similarly, when I'm cleaning up, it's easy to just hang them up one-handed. Uh, the second benefit to this is uh, the different types of clamps that you can store on a rack like this. It's not customized to one specific clamp. Here I've got different styles of clamps. I've got F-style clamps with long bars. I've got pipe clamps. I've got a little spring clamp holder. And very soon I'll have some parallel clamps that I'm making that I'll actually store on the same style clamp rack. So it's just a very versatile solution rather than being very custom. You do have to cut out the profile, but you can do that a number of ways. You could use a jigsaw, bandsaw. Uh, I use a scroll saw for this, um, or you could even use a coping saw and cut them by hand. Now in this case, I'm mounting the clamp rack to my mobile materials cart. I don't like mounting things to the walls of my shop because of relocating my shop every few years, but you can mount this clamp rack to a wall without any problem. After measuring and deciding the amount of clamps I'm going to store, here I am laying out the profile of the clamp racks. The sides are made out of half inch bolted birch and the legs are two and a quarter inch wide for both the top and the side leg. If you want to save yourself some layout time, you can simply go to my website and download the free template, which has uh, two legs on it. You can just lay it out on a sheet of plywood and cut it out. Next it's time to cross cut the blanks on the table saw. Here you can see I'm supporting the off cut with a piece of half inch material which is the same thickness as the bottom of my cross cut slit. After cutting the square sides of the blanks on the table saw, I use the scroll saw to cut out the profile. I'm cutting eight sides so that I can make four clamp racks. pieces of half inch glued together. I'm going to cut some of my center divider pieces out of this. I'm ripping one section to one and five eighths wide as a center divider for some wide bar clamps and the others I'm going to cut to one and one eighth for some three quarter inch and one inch pipe clamps and for F style clamps. Here 
Here I am cross cutting each center divider to the length I need in order to raise it to the height for my uh, mark lamps to raise above the material storage cart. So for assembly, I simply clamp the two sides to the center divider, drill 1 8 inch pilot holes, and then glue and screw everything back together. I used four screws on each side. These act as pins to help the glue joint to keep from shearing. And uh, I've been using it for several months now. It seems plenty strong. I will say the pilot holes are pretty critical, especially whenever you're drilling into the cross grain of plywood, because plywood can also split similar to uh, hardwood. Just make sure you use pilot holes to keep your plywood from delaminating and uh, ultimately your clamps falling down. old stain and finishes is on shop projects. It gives the project a little bit more durability, protects it from moisture, and uh, this is less for look, more for protection. So I'm just giving everything a quick coat of stain, and then I'll probably come back and wax it just to seal the grain later and help protect the project for uh, the life that I use the clamp rack. Now obviously clamps are, are heavy and if you're supporting a large number of them then this has to be built uh, out of quality materials. Now these are glued together and I have screws to reinforce the joint uh, and also to clamp the joint while it was drying. But uh, I made mine out of half inch Baltic birch. This half inch Baltic birch has 10 laminations in it. So it, you may want to consider using 3 quarter inch plywood if uh, you don't have quality plywood on hand just to give you that much more stiffness. Now the L shape of this is pretty critical as far as the strength of the overall design. So as your clamps are out here pushing down, it's going to want to rotate. So this leg, um, the longer this is, actually the stronger and the further out that uh, you can make this. So those are a couple modifications you can make if you like. So one, one thing I want to note structurally about this, the curves just minimize those stress concentrations and, and keep the clamp rack as strong as possible. So these, these curves aren't, aren't just for looks here. It's got some functionality. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You've now seen yet another storage option for clamps. Uh, it's a little bit different take on the clamp rack. I hope you liked it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're interested in partnering with me, I've recently launched a Patreon page. Uh, I've got multiple tiers, and uh, one of the tiers even involves uh, all of my plans that I'll continue to update, and you'll just have an unlimited plan uh, library. I'll also be posting these videos uh, ad-free to that site. Thanks for watching.